We in, uh, in District 1 have had some problems with some specific hotels in the district. Uh, these are some hotels where we see a lot of drug, prostitution, and even gang activity. And despite our repeated efforts to uh, request additional improvements, uh, they, they've chosen not to. We needed to do something different here instead of the standard police response. Again, uh, partnered with the city attorney's office, the Denver Fire Department, the uh, building in inspectors, environmental health, the uh, neighborhood inspection services. Uh, that culminated today at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning when the police department and uh, this multi-agency uh, task force uh, came together at 620 Federal and found uh, numerous violations. It's always helpful for all of our agencies to be working together on these kinds of issues because you never know um, when you get out to a building what you're going to find. This location was a potential hazard to the residents there. It was a hazard to the guests where it could have caught on fire based on the way they were doing, uh, the, the way they were essentially piggybacking the, the electrical lines there. Unsanitary conditions, unsafe conditions at this location. We had uh, 12 uh, arrests. Uh, all of these arrests stem from previous warrants. We also recovered a handgun. The owners of, of this property, they have sister hotels and they were able to move each and every single person that was uh, displaced when this location was cl closed down into one of their four sister locations and then we helped facilitate that. The ultimate goal here is public safety, um, the safety of the people who are occupying the building, people who may come and go from the building. It's not safe for them to be in an environment where the electrical systems are damaged. We have done our, our homework and our research on where the problem motels are, problem hotels in the city and we anticipate many more of these.